is Angela. I'm just showing you the canvas, oh, the acrylic pool that I did the other day. And I'm just waiting for it to dry. I'm still waiting for it to dry, like another two weeks, three weeks, and then I'm gonna apply one resin coat over it. I did wash it, because it's dry completely. So I washed it with Dawn's uh, dishwashing soap under the cool water, closer to cold water. And then I wiped it down with the Bounty, you know, once I rinsed it off. So I'm just waiting for it to uh, completely dry. I'll just let it sit there. And I took down the butterfly one that I did yesterday. I really didn't like it. I'm sorry I took it down. And I uh, just wanted to show you this one. It still looks very good. And I hope you can see it. I like the way this one turned out. It's so gorgeous. I, and I did paint the sides, you know, the color that I wanted it's to match the top. Anyway, let's put that away. That's done. Thank God. I like those little ones. They're very easy. I bought, because I like that little one, I bought this little, this little panel. It's a copy from my friend Rick. I hope it's okay. He can call me a troll too. It's fine. <laughs> But these are called Easy Flow Panels, which I didn't know. I used to always look at his page and wonder, what does Easy Flow mean? But anyway, now I know what Easy Flow means. So I'm just going to put a do a flip cup on this one and see how it turns out. Let me uh, flip the cup there. It's dirty because, of course, I put my paint on top of it. But it's the same color paint. I want to see how this comes out. I hope it comes out good. Yeah. Oh. I'm now waiting for resin again until, you know, I guess Monday, next Monday, I, I, uh, I leave. I have time to do a few more resin pours here. I know that's a lot of paint for this little canvas. I knew that for sure. Oh, look how pretty is this and all the colors. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. I hate to dirty my table again. Chill. <laughs> but I had to, of course. do like it and I like this little canvas you really don't have to do much to work at it let's get this uh... hurry and then you could just you know paint the side you could spread it with your hand This canvas. Rick, thank you, Rick. like all the corners and everything very nicely. I don't know if it really was enough paint. What do you think, guys? Say. Thick. It's just... Because you know, once you move too much, you lose your cells. Oh, yeah. This is really cute. And so little. Little like me. Yeah. Just 
gorgeous. I took and I guess I would say. I'm going to hit it up with the gun. Oh, pretty. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. I love oh. oh, yeah. Nice and gorgeous. So, let me just throw it on with this. What these canvas were made out of that Mr. Uh, Rick say his name in here. Oops, the regular stretch canvas. Give it a, a little burn here. Wow, this is nice colors. I'm gonna just leave it here so I could get some pendant off of it. And I'm gonna leave that plastic on the table for a couple of days. So. Alright guys, let me give you a close-up. 
and uh, this was an old paint so I'm wondering if that's why I'm getting little areas that a paint is going it's seeping right through oh, oh. Right of this one here we go get all those nice looking cells there that'll be pretty gorgeous i love the way these colors came out so a multitude of different colors in there different blues this paint to the side for a, a, kind of a couple of weeks so this is why I'm wondering why some of the area let me see where is it that area okay I hit it up a little bit but there's areas that you can see the canvas a little bit so I have to take care of those areas yeah all right let me show you the sign I put some of the paint on the side there and paint on the side it's just all still dripping down so but um that's it for today i don't know if i'm coming back maybe i do come back and do another one but i have to put something here because i don't want to lose the paint underneath all right guys love you all